the perfect side dish for my fantastic fried chicken. We're going to do pickled celery. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little snack and great for ploughmans, great for salads. First thing, I need to pick the celery for me. So you see where the next one's going to be. It's in there. Yeah. OK, I'll figure one. Now, because we're pickling it, yeah. we want to sort of make it look a little bit more attractive. So we go around like that. OK. Now, a splash of water and in with the sugar. Nice. OK. So we've got to bring that up to the bowl and sort of create almost like a little syrup. Yeah. OK. A little teaspoon of peppercorns in. Mustard seeds in. Quite generous on the mustard seeds. That gives it a bit of sort of spice. Now, those, you must know. Cloves. Excellent. Cloves in. Now, a touch of salt in mm -hmm. there. OK. So from there, white wine vinegar. Now, in order for all that to actually pickle, you need to boil it. Mm -hmm. So by boiling it, OK, it brings all the ingredients together. Yeah. It infuses all the spices and helps cook the celery. Have a little taste. Mm. <coughs> nice. Nice. See, I put some hairs on your chest. Yes, um, it will. Quick look. Boom, it's working already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, celery's ready. Yep. OK, that's all up to the ball now. Yeah. Turn that off. Now, from there, start Ooh. placing the celery into that jar. Now, put them in there. So can we eat this straight away when it's in here? As soon as it's cooled down, you can definitely eat that straight away. Can't wait to dig into it at dinner. We'll leave that to cool down. Our pickles are ready and cooling. Now to marinate the chicken. When you fry chicken, traditionally, it's always going to be done with the dark meat, the brown meat. Yeah. Cooking on the bone as well keeps it even more moist. So, first things first, salt and pepper, please. Ooh, From there. Famous buttermilk. Buttermilk in. It's brilliant for marinating the chicken. If you can put this buttermilk over your chicken the night before, the more it tenderises the chicken and starts to sort of really relax the chicken mm -hmm. and puts a really nice sort of creamy, soury flavour in there. Yes. So, might stick that in the fridge for us, please? All that's left is to fry it. Now, we're going to roll the chicken out of the buttermilk into the flour. So that's why it gets nice and crispy and blistery on the outside. Mm -hmm. OK? Cool. So, what we've got to make sure, because the flour is the last coat, yes. this is nicely seasoned. Yeah, definitely. OK, so salt and pepper in there. Nice. And this is smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. So that gives it a little bit of sort of... Uh, Redness, yeah, spice. A little bit, yeah, spice, that's right, a little bit of heat. And this one of my favourites. What's that? Cayenne pepper. That's right, again, slightly spicy. Garlic mm. powder. Traditionally, are used a lot in the States, onion powder, garlic powder. Just run your fingers through that, please. Cool. I'm going to get the pan on. Now, two centimetres of oil. So the first thing is we just shake off some of the buttermilk, lay that down. Yes. OK, really important to get them covered completely. Now, lift that up there, the first one and you place it in there, away from you. Off you yeah. go. Nice and gently. Good. And lay away. Good. If at any stage you think the oil is getting too hot, yeah. just add a touch of cold oil in there. Yeah. Or turn off the Definitely. gas. Good. Gently fry the chicken for 25 to 30 minutes or until cooked through. Now, very carefully, turn them over, please, yeah? Cool. Now, off with the gas, OK? Yeah. Paper ready, OK? Onto the paper. Serve them. Delicious. Now, fried chicken and pickles. We are ready, bud. Very nice. Let's go. Have Jack. Mmm.